Here we go. This is the eleventh mission. Eye of the Storm. This is a nice little uh, sniping slash sneaking level. There were uh, too few of these. I actually like the sniper uh, mission, so I might actually go uh, get sniper uh, for the 360. I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but I know it's like, I think it's the pure campaign sniping. But, so you're playing as uh, Price and Soap, and you're actually in Prague. And you are completely surrounded by hundreds of Russian soldiers. Your goal is to sneak through to get to a nice place to try and snipe Makarov. Overconfidence makes you careless. We'll infiltrate along two separate routes, so you and Yuri head for the church and provide Overwatch. The city's locked down tight. We'll need a back door. Leave that to me. Got a nice little information from Volk, but most likely he is dead now because uh, Price doesn't seem to like to leave survivors. My bad, you're actually playing as Yuri with Price and so. So the first part here, you're actually going to go under the deck. You're not actually have to kill anybody. Uh, the good thing about this level is you actually start off with a sniper rifle, and it has the dual. Um, I guess it'd be dual scope capability where you have a red dot and a scope. It actually comes in useful because there is a part coming up where later on in the game you're actually going to have to uh, get to close combat and they know you're there. Other than that you can use just scope for pretty much everything. Or the red dot if you want to try to challenge yourself to these faraway uh, shots. So try to stay under the main part. I'm 100% sure if you, they can see you if you go through there. I'm not even sure if you can go through it because of the down boards. But just listen to what they say. Uh, right now they're dropping, they're dropping in all the bodies of, uh, I guess, the resistance. Yep, you start this level out with, uh, like I said, the sniper, and you actually get a uh, silenced pistol. I don't think I ever used the pistol. I actually might switch it out for an AK-47, because I think there's two, possibly three large engagements to this, uh, to this level. This is a, uh, a fan favorite spec ops level, too. Uh, you're going through the same exact thing. And you have to be completely quiet, and you have to rescue hostages. It uh, it's one of my favorites because it was one of the only sneaking ones. So here I am testing out both the A, uh, not the A cog, the regular scope and the red dot. I don't see a lot of use for this, especially on a campaign level, but I'm guessing in a some kind of sniping match online, it would do uh, pretty much good, because half the time is you're wasting zooming in on your scope. Most of this mission, uh, you're just going to have to uh, take your time. Make sure you uh, do it when the uh, one guy is walking away, because what will happen is the guy will see it and alert the others. So make sure they're uh, not looking at each other. Like I did there, you saw that one guy was walking to the left, back turned, and I shot the other guy. Do just smart shots. Usually they're not really based on time. Most of the mission you're going to be walking pretty much behind soap, foot for foot, and not taking in a lot of people. I don't think there's a possible way he could have made that shot from that vantage point. He would have hit that pole. Like I said, go ahead and take your time. Here's the first intel of this level. We got 32 so far, and there's 46. 
Yeah, 14 more to go. That's not that bad. I know in one, I think it's Scorched Earth. There's actually five, so we'll take down a bunch in an upcoming mission. So right here, just follow him foot for foot. He's actually going to open this door, and you're going to crouch down. Uh, make sure you stay crouched down. I think believe it, I believe at one point you will lay down too. Yep. And it'll ask you to stop coming up because people are actually going to be in this building. He'll let you know when to stop. completely stopped moving. See shake things shaking on the ground that is because there I do believe there's tanks coming by. So when he's moving it's okay to move. Alright, now it's good to move again. Like I said, most of this level is just you taking your time, making sure you don't get caught out in the open. You're following him as much as you can, and you're taking smart shots. Uh, if you see two guys, try to get a collateral if they're walking like in front of each other. Um, if someone's close like that, you should probably use your pistol. Unfortunately, you don't have this drag body option. That would be nice to just keep killing people and hiding them so no one will be alerted. 